Hello, everyone. In Trinity World, God came down from heaven through outer space to planet Earth to die on a cross. But when the time came, he didn't want to do it. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane and said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be grieved and distressed. Then he said to them, My soul is deeply grieved to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. And he went a little yonder and fell on his face and prayed, saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not as I will, but as you will. And he came to the disciples and found them sleeping and said to Peter, So you couldn't keep watch with me for one hour? Keep watching and praying that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away again a second time and prayed, saying, My father, if this cannot pass away unless I drink it, your will be done. Let this cup pass from me yet not as I will, but as you will. What's his will? Let this cup pass from me. That is his will in Gethsemane. Did God the Son say that? Well, in Trinity world, it wasn't someone else saying it, was it? So if the divine plan of the one God was to die on a cross. What is God the Son doing asking God the Father if he can avoid dying on the cross? What is God doing? Praying to get out of the cross. Or is Almighty God really that feeble that the passions of his flesh were beginning to overtake the immense power of his div divine nature? Why is God asking God to abort the divine plan of God? Doesn't God know the answer to this request before he even asks? Surely he knows. And besides, did he also forget he would be raising himself from the dead? Why is God trying to avert and avoid dying on the cross, which is by his own design? Or was this just all for show, a deceptive God? What seems to be God's problem here? Nothing is too hard for God, is it? Going to a cross should be as easy as picking daisies. For the Almighty God, the One God, nothing is too difficult for God, is it? So what's his problem? In fact, don't you say in Trinity world that God came down from heaven to live a sinless life doing the will of God because men couldn't do it? So if living a sinless life doing only the will of God is so easy for Almighty God, and of course it would be. What's God's problem here in Gethsemane? Let this cup pass from me. Did God not predestine this cross event which he is about to undergo? Was not, this, was not the lamb slain from the foundation of the world? So why is Almighty God now trying to elude his own predetermined destiny on the cross? God has now changed his mind? 
Or did God shut off his divine nature switch and speak only according to his human nature? Hmm. You really think that little game is going to pan out for you? So God here, the only true God, you say, is attempting to avoid his very own predestined plan because he is just too deeply distressed about the impending suffering and death? Didn't God know he was immortal and that he wouldn't ever be dead anyway? And he would just leave his dead body behind on the cross and come back and get his man suit at a later time in three days? Didn't God know this? Didn't he know he was immortal? Or do Trinitarians know this, but Almighty God did not? So why is God so distressed and trying to abort his very own plan to be the savior of the world? If possible, let this cup pass. Didn't God know he had already decided it was impossible to let this cup pass? So God didn't want to be the savior of the world? Let this cup pass from me, yet not as I will. What does he want here? What he wants is not to do this. Why does God not want to do this? Not as I will? Dying on the cross is not your desire, God? God, why don't you want to die on the cross? God, why are you seeking to abort this mission? Your very own predestined plan. God, why is it not your will to die on the cross? Not as I will. God, why is it not your will to die for me? God, why don't you want to be the savior of the world? What's the matter, Trinitarians? You don't like the implications of your own lies? Maybe this is just a man praying to his God because he is terrified of what is about to befall him unto death. Maybe this isn't God at all, just a man. He was about to be dead, lights out, lifeless, and dead. Jesus didn't want to do this. He says so. Th that is what the words, not my will, mean. Jesus was faced with a dilemma to choose to do his own will and abort the mission or to deny himself just as he taught his disciples to do and choose rather to do his God's will instead and suffer and die according to the will of God rather than doing his own will. And his own will was not to die on the cross. It was his God's will. You think that might be the truth? You think? There's only one true God. There's only one true God to refer to. And the only God to refer to is Lord Jesus Christ's God. The God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And there is no God but his God and Father. Repent and believe the good news of Jesus Christ and the kingdom of his God.